Judaism with Soul 6. Let me tell you how really great you are. The Navi Zechariah in chapter 3 verse 7 says the following, If we follow in Hashem's ways, if we guard His commandments and guard His temple, I will make you into walkers among those who stand still. The Sefer Akeda in Shar Membeis 42 explains that since angels are static, angels are those who stand still, each person, each of us, who on our own level can go beyond where angels can go because we walk, we move, we continue, we grow, we have free will, whereas angels do not. And therefore, we can go to places where angels cannot. How can we be compared to angels? The holy angels. The malachim. The answer is, what is the definition of a malach? Adam, Adam Arishon, called angels malachim as messengers. The meaning of a messenger is someone who does the will of someone else. The messengers, the malachim, is a malach, it does the will of God. It has no free will. And therefore, it is static. It does exactly what it's told. Whereas man has free will, and therefore man can go beyond where angels go. And therefore, angels are those who stand. At the altar of Slobodka, in Orhat Safun, Mamar Sefer told us Adam, says angels stand still. They neither grow nor change because they take they stand still because they have no free will. Man, Adam, you and I, take strides. We walk, we move, we continue because we're able to grow and develop because we have free will. Now, how is it that we gain this free will? Why are we so great? Says the altar of Slobodka, we're great because we have a Yetzir Hara. We have an evil, negative inclination. That's what makes us great. When we grapple and overcome our negative inclination, and we bring out, it pushes us to bring out our innate greatness. And because we are pre-programmed to have that potential of greatness, we choose to act correctly and then we bring out that dormant ability from minakoyach el apoel, from the potential to the actual. That's called self actualization. And who does that? The Yetzir Hara. Unbelievable. The Yetzir Hara is the one who does this. Now the Mikhtar Maliyahu, Rab Eliyahu Desla, in volume 5, page 465, quotes the battle between Yaakov Avinu and the Malach and says the following. The Yetzir Hara sets up roadblocks in our path. But he is a malach. He is a messenger from Hashem. It's God's will that the malach is sent, the malach hamaves, the angel of death, this messenger of God, the Yetzir Hara. And the Gemara calls the malach hamaves the same thing as the Yetzir Hara and the Saro Shal Esav. And God has sent the Yetzirah on a mission, on a mandate, on a life task to push us. He's on a mission from God to push us as a messenger of God to push us to grow. And that's why he sets up roadblocks. Not only says Rav Desler, that the Yetzirah wants us to conquer him, but he even rejoices when we defeat him. And he quotes the battle between Yaakov and the Saro Shal Esav, the angel of Esav, which is the Yetzir Hara. And the Sforno says that this angel sent to fight with Yaakov Vinu was the Yetzir Hara. And he quotes the verse and says as follows, most powerful verse that, ex that I experience in the Torah. Vayevaser Yaakov Levado Yaakov was left alone, Vayeavik ish imo alalosa shachar. And a man, that's the angel of death, that's a negative inclination, says the Sforno, 
wrestled with him until morning. Vayar ki lo the angel saw it could not defeat him. Vayaga bechaf yirecho, it grabbed onto the hollow of his thigh. Vateka kaf yirecho Yaakov, and it was injured. Vehiavko imo, when it wrestled with Yaakov. Vayomar, shalcheni, the angel said, let me go, ki Allah hashachar, dawn has arisen. Vayomer and Yaakov said, Lo al shalechecha, I will not send you free. Ki im beirachtani, until you bless me. Vayomer elav ma shmecha, what is your name? Said the angel to Yaakov. Vayomer Yaakov, my name is Yaakov. Vayomer lo Yaakov yemar od shimcha, your name will no longer be called Yaakov. Ki im Yisrael, Yisrael, Israel. Ki sarisa im adokim vim anashim vatuchal. Because you wrestled, you strove with man, and with God, and you prevailed. This man wrestling with Yaakov, says Sforno, is the Yetzirah itself. And since the Talmud says in Baba Basra, the Yetzirah and the angel of death are synonymous, and the Saro Shel Esav is synonymous with each other, they're the same entity, it would appear that God sent the angel of death to destroy Yaakov to defeat him, to overwhelm him. And that's how we see the Yitzhahara as the Baal Davar, the one of matter, the one of substance, who wants to take us down, who wants to destroy us. That's our perception of what the Yitzhahara is. And we're afraid of this Yitzhahara. However, Yaakov in the Torah defeated the angel of death. Says Rav Dessler, in an amazing, stunning turnaround, a game changer, a soul of Judaism idea, says Rav Dessel the following. The real reason Yaakov was sent, was sent, was engaged with the battle of the angel of death, was because in the end, the angel said to Yaakov, Shalcheni ki Allah hashachar, let me go because the dawn has risen. Why, says Rashi? Why does he say, let me go? Because it's my time to sing Shira. It's my time to sing song, my song in heaven to the world and to God. Ask Rav Dessler, right then? Right then he had to sing Shira? After he was defeated by Yaakov? Let me go because I have to sing my song to God? Why then? Sing it later. Saying Shira explains Rav Dessler, Shira means your purpose. Rav Moshe Shapira Zatzal, my Rebbe, says Shira means a circle. A circle means a completion, a purpose, a task. We sing Shira, Zmiros on Shabbos, because we completed a task. We completed the week. We completed a unit of time, and therefore we sing Shira. It's a completion. It's a shear. A shear means a circle. An egg goal, a circle. And therefore, Shira means I fulfilled my task. I completed my mission. I filled the circle. I completed the circle. And therefore, it's my time now to sing my song. What was the circle? What was my task? What was this mission that the angel was given that now it has to sing Shira? Says Rav Dessler. Unbelievable. The role of the Yitzhahara was to be defeated by goodness through man's free will thus revealing the honor of Hashem. Let's say this again. The role of the Yitzhahara is to be defeated by goodness through man's free will, therefore revealing the honor of Hashem. The Kvot Shemayim. Therefore, the angel had to sing Shira now. After it was defeated, its job was completed. His, his job was to be defeated by Yaakov, and therefore now it's time. He completed the circle. Now I must sing Shira. The dawn has come. You defeated me. Yaakov, you defeated me. I must sing Shira. I must declare to the world that you have defeated me and I fulfilled my purpose, that I pushed you to defeat me, and you did. The Yetzir HaTov, Yaakov, defeated the Yetzir Hara. Until Yaakov defeated the Yetzir Hara, this level of clarity, this level of revelation, this Gilui, this Yeso, this foundation of life, existed only in potential, the idea that man can defeat the Yetzir Hara existed only in potential. No one ever yet actualized this idea of defeating the Yitzhahara until Yaakov did at this battle. Now, 
of the Yitzhahara, says Rav Desla, the Yitzhahara was defeated, there is now shlemus, there is completion, there is wholeness, wholesomeness, a balance in the world, a goodness in the world, which was revealed by Yaakov defeating the Yitzhahara. As the Torah says, and Yaakov arrived shalim. Breshis chapter 32, verse 18, by Yavo Yaakov shalim. And this is the cause of Shira. When we are affected, confronted by our Yitzhahara, our negative inclination, let us derive strength from Yaakov Vinu. We are all Yaakov Vinu. We are all changed our name from Yaakov to Yisrael. We are all B'nai Yisrael. When we are confronted by the Yitzhahara in any of its forms, realize you have the power to defeat the Yitzhahara. You are the Yitzhah Tov. You are Adam. You are Yaakov Avinu. You are Yisroel. You are B'nai Yisroel. You are the Yitzhah Tov. You have the power to wrestle with the Yitzhah Hara and to defeat him. And then the Yitzhah Hara will sing his Shira that man is supposed to defeat me. And then we can sing our own Shira, our own Az Yashir, our own personal Shira, our collective, our national, and our personal Shira, our song to Hashem. The song that we are meant to reveal. God sent the Yetzirah on purpose to us to reveal something, to bring out something dormant from the potential to the actual, to bring out something good within ourselves, to reveal Kvod Shemaim through our own free will. Let's use our free will and sing our personal song.